A life-changing trip for a Utah artist who traveled to Uvalde, Texas. Small town still recovering from a horrific mass shooting. News specialist Dan Rascone has the exclusive story as he flew with this artist to Uvalde for a precious delivery. Dan? Very precious indeed, Mike and Dini. 78-year-old J.R. Johansson, a local artist who has created hundreds of paintings over the years, personally hand-delivered a portrait of each one of the victims to their families. A trip that brought tears, joy, and comfort to those families. Okay. I prayed that somehow these would make it down here. All right. A long-anticipated day. That was the first one. Months in the making. Oh, yes. Utah artist J.R. Johansson. I love this little girl. Unboxing his very precious cargo. It looks like they've survived the trip well. In the small Texas town of Uvalde. These are portraits he painted of all 19 children and two teachers. I just love their faces. Killed in a horrific mass shooting at Robb Elementary eight months ago. That's a tough assignment. That assignment started months ago, 1,300 miles away, in the small town of Huntsville, Utah, in JR's backyard studio. I see innocence and I see happiness. The photos and bios of each life lost. Alethea loved to draw. Were collected by his brother-in-law, yeah, Ross so it's Davidson. A, it's a beautiful, quiet, sweet little community with good people. Ross and his wife, Jolene, live in Uvalde on an assignment from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Okay. Ross knew of JR's talents and gave him a call. Have you considered that you might be able to paint a portrait of those that uh, passed away? And I could hear him break into tears in his voice. Uh, as he said, that has been on my mind and my heart as well. See the eye coming out there a bit. For years, JR has been painting missionaries who lost their lives while serving and donating them to their families. You nailed it. To date, he's done over 150 missionary portraits. I have experienced um, pretty tender moments painting missionaries who have died. But never, little Juliana, had he undertaken a project like this. Bless your heart. We were with JR as he traveled to Uvalde, a chance to help heal wounds in a community that has lost so much. This is not a town that's about to forget the lives that were lost here. All across town, huge memorials depicting the 19 children and two teachers. I want to see them receive some sort of comfort from the portrait. Hi. Hi, J.R. Johansson is my name. One by one, the families arrived. It was a pleasure to paint his portrait. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you. J.R. getting a chance to meet parents and loved ones. We want to thank you. Well, um, you're welcome. Thank you for doing this for our kids. You're welcome. Face to face. It was a sincere honor to paint her portrait. I'm so sorry that it happened. A tender, it's beautiful, an emotional scene. It's like she's still here. And you uh, captured him very well. Did I? That's, one of the best pictures that, that pleases me. As families see the faces of their little ones, it just spoke to me. She just really did. <laughs> that makes me happy because I, I want him to speak to you, and I believe he will. Every portrait coming to life for the families. Is that her? Yes. 100% her. <laughs> it looks beautiful. I love it. The eyes, the smile, the hair. Her glasses. She always had to have her glasses. It's beautiful. It's awesome. Rethinking the day over and over. It's played back in our minds over and over. And um, have to keep ourselves busy to not re rethink about it. Thank you very Thank much. You. You're welcome. Uh -huh. A trip and a moment in time. I'm going to put it in my living room and see him every day. Never to be forgotten. Having them come here and be able to meet so many of them was just a, a monumental moment in my life. Yes, some very tender and powerful moments. Uvalde is a place, too, I will never forget. Walking the ground of Robb Elementary, personally meeting with these families and hearing their stories. There, of course, is so much more to tell with this story. That's why we are putting together a 30-minute documentary on the Uvalde Angels that will air during General Conference Weekend in April. So look for that. Mike Andini. 
Oh, Dan, thank you. Those portraits are just beautiful. Yeah, powerful story there. Well done, Dan.